Well, uh, this is a prayer that uh, the Griffin family is answering today. As uh, this is their last uh, service with us as one of the pastors of Grace Church. And uh, Pastor Kevin will be um, the new lead pastor at Crossroad Church up in Jacksonville, Florida. There's a picture of the church. It's an amazing congregation, about 650, 700 people uh, that are there on a Sunday. And uh, the sky is the limit for this church. And God has a great plan for the future of this church. It's only 20 years old. And um, their pastor is retiring, and they'll be handing off uh, leadership over the next uh, year together. And then Pastor Kevin will be uh, leading there. But we're so grateful for uh, Pastor Kevin. Come on up here. I keep having to pull you guys up here. And uh, this is... uh, (laughs) So uh, this is Abigail uh, who's here with us and she uh, is going to be starting youth group tomorrow at uh, Crossroad Church and uh, this is Ashley and um, we uh, love all of your family and we are grateful for you. Um, This is the kind of prayer that we just sang about that God does like to answer as I mentioned. In 1995 or 1994, uh, Kevin was just a little older than Abigail (laughs) when I met him, just a few years older. And I went to be his youth pastor in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, Kevin just, he wouldn't go home. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, Kevin would just, he always kept hanging around. Uh, He needed uh, God's love in his life. And it's been my joy uh, to pour my life into Kevin. And um, I'm going to make it. So, It's been my uh, joy to do that. And uh, through every season, God has answered that prayer. And he will do so in your life. And if our relationship and these years that we've had as Kevin, as one of our pastors, if it can shine some courage into you, uh, that would bring us great joy. Um, So... We send out mission teams uh, from Grace Church, and what we're going to do is just uh, enter into a new relationship with Pastor Kevin and Abigail and Ashley. They're going to become our missionaries to Jacksonville. Does that sound good? Uh, I like that better. Yeah, that's good. So so like we do with all of our mission partners, we're going to commission them today. So I want to invite you guys to come down here and uh, to kneel, and then I want to invite you, if you'd like to come uh, forward, this would be one of those times if you've never uh, entered the front half of the sanctuary, you can do that, okay? Uh, we're just going to surround them and lay hands on them. Of course, if you don't want to come, uh, that's, that's cool. Just extend a hand in just a moment uh, when we pray for them. And uh, All right. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for the grace of a love that just impacts our lives so much that we can't help but love one another. We thank you for the call that you placed on Pastor Kevin's heart when he was just 12 years old at Camp Ridgecrest to become a follower of Jesus. We thank you for that second call that came in Costa Rica when he heard the call to become a pastor as a high school student. We thank you for the call that came into his life when he was ordained as an elder in the United Methodist Church. Lord, we thank you for the call that came for him to come and be a pastor at Grace Church. And now today, Lord, uh, out of just obedience to you, we say thank you for the call for Pastor Kevin to be the lead pastor at Crossroad Church. We know that, God, you have plans, and they are more than we could ever even ask or imagine. It's going to uh, defy our wildest imagination, God, what you're going to do there and what you're going to do through Pastor Kevin. We pray that, God, you would give him courage and you would fill him with the Holy Spirit that as he uh, begins to lead this congregation, that they would be just reckless in their devotion to you. 
and that he would preach the word and that you would fill him with power. Lord, we thank you for Ashley. And we pray that you would go ahead of her, that you would calm her fears as a mother and that you would help her in the future as she's uh, in between jobs right now, as settling into new friendships. We pray that you would bless her with your peace. Lord, we thank you for Abigail. We thank you for the way that it's been our joy to love her and her love us. And God, I thank you that the little girl I held and baptized years ago is now kneeling here before you, trusting you with her life. Lord, we pray that you would continue to bless her. We thank you for Jacob. We pray that, God, you would continue to help him to grow in wisdom and stature and favor. We pray for Nathan today, that you would help this little boy grow into a man of God. So, Lord, we uh, now send them out with our blessing. And we send them out and we commission them today that they might be ambassadors of the good news of Jesus Christ that they might share your grace, that they might reach the people nobody else wants and nobody else sees, and that you would send them out filled with your presence. And Lord, we commission them today in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And all those people agreeing with this prayer said, Amen. Amen. Let's give God thanks. All right, as you're uh, making your way back to your seats, let me uh, tell you we're going to continue the series next week, and I hope that you'll be here as we uh, continue walking through the exciting church series, and uh, we've got one more thing to do, and I'm going to give Pastor Kevin a a chance to do this. Um, What you don't know is that there's a certain announcement that Pastor Kevin has been, he's needed to make time and time again over the last four years at the end of the service at 1130 and he's always forgotten it. So Pastor Kevin, this is it. All right. Because we have, we have vacation Bible school this week and you know, we got to clear out this room. We do. And uh, you've forgotten it many times. I and, know. Uh, yeah. I think I've like every facilities director ever has worked here just hates me because yeah, I always forget right. to do. Okay. But this is your chance. That's right. He's the God of second chances. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. All right, you can do it. Church, please help us by stacking the chairs before you leave today. I got it. I got it. Have a good week. Have a good week. God bless you.